Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Natzel. I cannot believe this is our last week of e-learning and our last week of the school year. Um, but we wanted to do something fun for an end of the year activity. And so since we're done reading Charlotte's Web, we thought that we would ask you to design your own cover to Charlotte's Web. So I'm going to show you. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see a blank document a blank slide. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view and I'm going to go to zoom and I'm going to go to zoom in so I can see it a little bit better. Okay. And then you can decide how you want to design your cover, whatever you want. So I'm going to design mine. I'm going to go here to insert and I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go to search web. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and move me if I can. Oh, I thought I could. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to search for a pig. And so let me see. So you can search, you can find the pig that you like, that you want to have. It can be more of a cartoon like one, it can be a real one. Whatever you choose, it's your book cover. So it does not matter to us. Oh, I like that one right there. So that's the one I'm going to choose. So, oops, nope. And I'm going to insert that one. Sorry, my thing is in the way. So I thought that I could move it. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, let me figure out how to move my screen. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to move my screen so that I could show you how to insert the pictures. Okay, so now obviously this picture is huge, so you want to minimize it and move it around and, you know, play with it a little bit. And so I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to insert a spider. Oops. So you want to go to insert, image, search the web. And so I'm going to insert a spider now. And let's see, which one do I like? Not really any of them. <laughs> I'm not a big spider fan. But maybe this one because it has a web behind it. So I'm going to insert this one. And it has it down there. So I'm going to, of course, minimize this again, make it smaller, um, bring it next to um, my pig. Um, let's see if I can get it the same size as the pig. There we go bring this out a little bit so it's not so fuzzy. Okay, and then let's see. I'm gonna search for um, image. I'm gonna search for a girl. For fern. So let's see if we can find a girl. I'm going to do this girl because even though she looks a little little, she looks like she's in a field. So maybe she likes to be by a barn. So then you click on it and then you hit insert. Okay. And then as you can see over here on the side, it put it underneath everything else. So we're going to put her in the picture like this. And then I'm going to insert a barn. So image search the web, and I'm going to put a barn in there. Okay. Now, again, you can do any barn that you like. As you can see, there's a lot of different choices of barns. Um, I just wanted to kind of scroll through to show you guys. But I like um, this barn right here. And so I'm going to insert that one. And I'm just going to shape, oops, 
I don't know if I can move it, make it a little bit smaller. Um, there, now my pictures are kind of there. And let's see, we can. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert now some word art, okay? And I'm going to title my book, Charlotte and Friends at the Barn. Okay, so if you notice, I capitalized all of the important words in my title, okay? And then I'm going to hit enter. Now I have my words and now I can play with them, okay? So I'm gonna increase them and so then when I click, oops, I'm sorry, when I click on it, I can format it, I think. I can change the font, so I could change it to that. Um, I could make it bold if I wanted. I'm gonna have to shrink it so it fits on the page now. And um, I could change the fill color, so I'm gonna make it red. So Charlotte and Friends at the Barn, okay? And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to do this. Oops, I wanted to see if I could. Uh, so use shift enter for multiple lines. So I'm gonna hit shift and enter and I'm gonna do it like that and then save it so that it looks like that. So it's, a little bit more fun. Now, if you didn't want to do word art for your title, you don't have to. Um, I did word art um, just to do something different, but you can also insert text box and then you can put your text where you want it. So if you wanted your text here um, for your title, you could put it here and then you could put Charlotte Oops. TTE and friends at the barn. Today you could put it over here on this side. It doesn't really matter where you put it. So you can insert a text box or you can do the word art. It doesn't really matter which you do. Um, and then if you want to get rid of this, oops, then you can just delete all of it. And then if you move it a little bit, then you can delete that text box. Okay, so I think I want to move this picture over just a little bit. And I'm going to move this picture over just a little bit and give it some space so that each one of the pictures has some space to it. So that way it looks a little bit better. Um, I can go to view and I can go to zoom and I can go to 100%. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to zoom out, view, view, zoom, and then go to zoom out so I can see it a little bit better. Um, you can still play with it. So I think I'm going to move this one down here so I can enlarge it a little bit, make that girl a little bit bigger. Um, since I decided to only do these four pictures, um, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to move the barn a little bit, but I'm going to leave them a little staggered so that they're not like so there. There's my barn and then my pig, my cute pig. Um, And then we'll make the spider a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is my book cover for Charlotte's Web. This is my new book cover, Charlotte and Friends at the Barn. 
Okay. So this is how I would want my book cover. So then I would go ahead and share it with Miss uh, Lesko or Miss Myers. And then I would be done. So if you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, please reach out to any of us. You can reach out to Miss Myers, Miss Lesko, myself, um, Mrs. Notzel, or Miss Althoff. Mrs. Althoff. We are all here to help you. We miss you all so very much. And we hope that you have fun designing your own book cover. So I can't wait to see all of these. Have a great day, guys. We miss you so much.